welcome to this classic. I'm doing the Foghat live version. I grew up in an era of just fantastic live albums way before YouTube had everybody's video of live stuff on there. All you could get were those live albums and you dug into them. And Foghat's live was just one of the great ones. A lot of great slide work by Rod Pierce and Lonesome Dave on rhythm guitar. Uh, so with that said, I've written this out of course, it, my notes will be linked below, you can download it and follow along. Um, our regular guitar or standard tune guitar is standard tune. If you play this with some of the Foghat cover versions that are out there or groups that are out there under the Foghat name, they tune down a half step. Um, but the Foghat Live is all in standard tuning as far as regular guitar. Now the slide guitar, we're in um, open E tuning. So our sixth string is E, our second string comes up to B, third string comes up to E, our, um, I'm sorry, fourth string comes up to E, third string comes up to G sharp, and then B and E are the same. Okay, and that's in my tab. So um, when I tab out the slide guitar, you'll see the notes at the beginning of the tab um, for the open E tuning. All right, we'll get into the lesson. A lot to cover here. I'm going to cover the intro with the uh, E tuned guitar, uh, the slide guitar first. It's just a real memorable intro and. I'll show you, I didn't really write out the rhythm as far as the slide guitar playing the chords, but I'll show you the difference. It's simple. Um, actually, the open E is e easier, honestly. Uh, but to start out with, we're going to slide on the second string from 15 to 17 twice. Then we're going to slide into the first string at 15 and then to 12 and then at the same just about after we hit 12 we're going to hit 12 on the second string and slide that to 10. Let that ring and hit the third string and slide it up to 12. All right. All right so that's kind of, kind of a little lick there because then we're going to hit when we hit slide up on the third string back to 12, we're going to hit the uh, fourth string at 12. Alright, so, two 15 to 17s, one 15, then 12, and so forth. And then we just repeat that Second string slide to 10, hitting the third string back up, and then the fourth string at 12. And that's the intro slide. So it's really not too difficult. That motif is repeated a little bit in his solos. Um, you know, we're playing in E minor. He does throw in some major notes also in his solos. And we'll talk about that when we get to it. So now what I want to talk about is when we're playing the rhythm guitar. I'm just going to take the slide off. All right. It starts out after that lick, we're going to an A chord. All right. Since we're in open E, we just move up F, G, A. There's our A chord. We don't have to use the rest of our fingers. So with that said, if we're playing an A power chord, you just go the 6th and 5th string. And we're going to add to that, it'd be like we're playing with our pinky, alright? We're going to add to that 5th string at the 5th fret to the 5th um, string at 6, I'm sorry, 7 and 8. Alright? And I want to talk about this rhythm. I'll get to it more when we're in the regular guitar, but it's really, it's not pulled up. It's a. It's all together. So we go fifth fret, 
7th fret, 8th fret, back to 5th fret. <laughs> Whenever we switch chords, we do the opposite. So now we're going to go to an E chord and we'll play this up at the 12th fret. And then we'll add on to the 14th fret. We're just going to add on 14, not 15. And then we're back to our A. So that's how you play the chords. I've written them out with a standard tuned guitar and again you can just follow along with the slide guitar because that's what he does. Occasionally he'll throw in a chord here or there on the slide. Um, I'll point to it especially when we're in the leads. Um, but we'll switch to regular guitar next. Okay so the intro in the regular guitar will sound like this. We're going to come right in with the slide. <laughs> So this intro is basically two measures, four counts of each. Each count will be... So it's a back and forth this time, alright? They don't do that all the time, but in this intro, when Day, uh, Brad Price is playing the slide, we're going to bounce back and forth between... This is an E chord. We're going to add the 11th fret and the 12th fret. Alright, so we'll do that a total, if you count each one, seven times. On the eighth time in the intro, the walk up will end the intro. So, so it's E, F sharp, G, G sharp, and then we go into the rhythm at the A chord. Alright? For the A chord, what we're doing is we're just, we're not bouncing off the ring and pinky finger. We're just going to follow back and forth. Notice after the A, we're going to do that, I think it's a total of uh, two measures, we're going to come up to the E and we'll only be hammering on to the 11. <laughs> to pinky back to ring. And then just the pinky on the E power chord. Alright, and then we're back into it again for another measure. And then our um, E chord with the pinky. And then we're into the chorus. So we'll go over the chorus next. It's not real difficult. Again, it continues this kind of rhythm thing, switching back and forth between, you know, using that extra note and not. So, so for the chorus, we're going to use G and then A as our pinky chords. We'll just go up to G, the pinky chord. Then we go to our E 
and switch will come up for the uh, 11 and 12, all right? <laughs> That will go through two times, okay? One half measure. The next measure is going to go G, A to B. Our B will continue that 11 and 12, all right? And then we're going to hit it and walk down. So it'll sound like this. <laughs> that point after the very first course they go right into the verse there's no hesitation just like I did all right so coming out of that we've done our E twice now we're going to the B so we're going to do our rhythm with the pinky on the G and A <laughs> So our walk down is B to uh, B flat, A, and G. And then right back into our A with the um, ring and um, pinky for that rhythm. All right, second verse is just like the first. We'll even go into a, a chorus again. Second chorus is just like this. Um, it changes a little bit because there's a third measure which will start leading us into the solo. So we're going to go over the second chorus next. Okay, so the second chorus basically is the same as the first chorus. It's just right after that third measure with the walk down because we've done our B. <laughs> You'll hear the slide guitar come in while the rhythm guitar does a measure of this. Alright, so what we're doing there is just over an E the bottom half of the chord, we're going to add on our suspended. So at the ninth fret on the fourth through the second string, we're going to add on the second string at 10, the fourth string at 11. Then you slide it down. So it's two hits of the E, the suspended, the E, and then slide down. That will happen six times. On the seventh time, he just stays on the E. And then you're going to come up to an E chord, hit that twice, and start the walk up. So the regular tune guitar will go through a solo, which is basically the uh, uh, slide guitar doing a full verse with two full measures of the A and the E. And then they come in together for a dual solo. Alright, at that point the rhythm guitar is into the chorus. All right. I know there's only two guitars, but you can hear the bass going into basically. Alright, he's just playing his notes, but I don't know if they overdubbed it. It does sound like there's a third guitar there, but it would be the chorus that we know. And we would even, you know, we'll do the G to A to E twice, G to A and then B. Alright, and then our walk down. So the solo follows all of that, okay? And then we're into uh, basically uh, the slide guitar will finish out the measure and the rhythm guitar comes back into this. Alright, 
they'll do that a total of four times. And then we're into the third verse. Okay? So again, if this is confusing to you, maybe rewind this and download my notes and follow along. You'll see what I'm talking about because, again, we're just covering the rhythm at this point. All right, verse 3 kind of starts us off towards the end of the song. Verse 3 is just a normal verse like we've learned. We'll go into chorus 3, which when we get to the A, all right, we've gone through the... We've done the G, A, E twice. When we go G, A to B, the B will start to slide... Um, he'll enter with what I call the outro slide solo. Now he'll duel with the regular guitar for some licks and measures and we'll talk about that next and then how the rhythm ends up. Alright, so I'm going to take it from the last measure of chorus um, 3 where we go to the B and, and then this little tag. Alright, so it'll sound like this. Stop. Alright, so at that point where we stop, we're going to start the alternating uh, dueling solos. Okay, at that point, before we start actually doing the solos, we're going to do our E with the pinky, all right, up to the 12th fret, back to 11. That'll be 16 times total, all right. So we'll do it for a measure, then 12 more, and then the bass will continue as we are dueling the solo. Um, between guitar, the regular guitar and the slide guitar. And then we come in with the non-slide guitar with chords, all right, that are doubled with the slide, all right, so we'll go over that next. Okay, so as the bass continues the rhythm while we have that dual solo going on, the non-slide guitar enters with these chords, which will basically be entered or doubled with the slide, all right, so it'll sound like this. <laughs> start the actual slide ending which is answered with some chords. Those chords will be, you'll hear the slide guitar come in and then we'll answer it with a G, A, and then E5. Okay, so those chords that we just covered are E, to a G6, and this is a fifth, so we're not going to play the B note, alright? Just mute that B note. Right. Then we go to an A5, up to C and D are kind of a half measure each. Then we go up to an E, G, notes. We're going to slide in to 7 on the 5th string, hit 5, to 7 on the 6th, to 3, and then we just hit an E chord, D chord, B chord, G chord, and then E stop. And then you'll hear the slide come in, and then we end with the slide after it does its little thing, we're going to end with a G chord, slide comes in, A chord, and then we end with an E fifth, fifth root, all right? All right, so that is all of the rhythm. We'll go over the regular guitar, regular tuned guitar, the solo he does, um, 
and he does another dual lead with the slide guitar and a slight answering call towards the end. We'll go over that. I am not going to go over the slide guitar because it is so, so much work. I mean, I've spent days and days going through each measure. So it's written out for you if you want to learn the exact slide parts of his solos. Um, so again, it's in my notes and I apologize. It would just take me forever and I don't have the energy uh, after working on it so hard. So, um, all right, we're going to go over the regular tune solo. It'll start like this. So he's going to do that a total of 12 times, bending up the third string at 14 and then catching 12 on the first. You can do it, I don't want to call it sloppy, but just if you catch the second string, that's fine. He does sometimes, I mean, he's getting into it. So 14 to 12, that'll be 12 times. And then we end up going 15 to 12 and 14 to 12 on the second and third string. At that point, he's going to take off with 15 on the second string, bent up to 12. Then, so he'll do that, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 nine times with the 15. Then he catches 12 on the second string and pulls off on the first string from 15 to 12. Back to 12 on the second string. And that repeats again another uh, 12 times. Then he's going to grab 15 to 12 on that first string. Fifteen to twelve. Fifteen's bent up. Twelve to twelve on the second string. To fourteen, bent up, released, pulled off to twelve, ending on fourteen on the fourth string. Then we go right to fourteen on the third string. Bend that up, catch twelve on the first string. So we have this so far. One, two, three, four. Then what we do is go right to the third string with our um, 15th fret pulled off to 14 to 12 and on 14 on the 4th. Then he's going to do some double stops. So we have, then we're going to hit 12 on the 3rd and 2nd string twice, back to 14 on the 4th um, string, 12 again twice. Back to 14. All right. So all of that whole lick up to here. One, two, three, four. Then he goes 12 on the third string to 14 bent. And then we're going to hold that. Then we're going to hit 14 Bend and release and pull off to 12 again, ending on 14 on the 4th string to 12, back to 14. 12 on the 3rd, and the very last part of that solo will be 14 on 4. Alright, so we have this. Alright. Oh, one more time. Let's do this whole measure together. We'll do it slowly. One, two, three, four. All right, so that is the first regular tune guitar solo. So when they play together, the dual solo or dueling solo, um, no, dual solo, we should call it. Um, 
we're going to do this, and I'll show you it after playing it at speed. <laughs> So basically what he's doing, we're going to be on the 4th and 3rd string. We're going to start out on the 4th string, 12 to 14 to the 3rd string, 12, back to 14 on the 4th string. Then we'll do that again, but we're going to go from 12 on the 3rd string to 14 bent up, and then 12 unbent. And then back to 12, 14 on the 4th string to 12 on the 3rd, 14 on the 4th with some vibrato. And then we just hit the 1st and 2nd string and slide down. Alright? So that first measure, 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, after that we're going to kind of repeat this motif with the 4 string, 12 to 14, 12, back to 12 on the 3rd, back to 14 on the 4th. Alright, we're going to go back up on the 3rd string to 14 here. Finish off 3rd string 12 and 4th string 12. And then the slide guitar will finish this measure. Alright, so when the regular tune guitar, which is what we got here, duels with the slide guitar, this is what the regular guitar will play to the slide guitar. Alright, so he starts it, and he'll come in with this. Alright, not real difficult. We're bending up the third string at 14 and hitting 12 at the same time. And again... Then we take 14, bend up, release, pulled off to 12, right back to 14 on the 4th. And then 12 on the 3rd um, string to 14 on the 4th. Alright, so now the slide guitar will answer that. Alright, so after that slide guitar answers, the regular guitar will play one more call if you will, call and response, all right, and it'll sound like this. All right, so basically we're bending 17 up, then hitting 15 on the first string to 17 on the second with a little vibrato. Then we're going to hit 15 to 17 on the first string, then we'll bend 17 up again, back to 15 and 17, just like we did. Now we come back to 15 on that first string to 17. We'll bend that up four times. On the fifth time, the bend will be a release and pull off to 15. All right, so we'll have this. Catching 17 on the second string and 15 on the first. So all together, one, two, three, four. All right, then the slide guitar will answer. And they kind of play along a little bit after this point. It's really, I hear it, um, but it's so in the mix, it's hard to tell. So that is the whole song. Um, again, the slide is written out if you want to work that up or follow along. Um, I really hope you enjoy. A lot of work on this song, but uh, honestly, it was a lot of fun. It was hard going back between two guitars and figuring out each part, but, you know, it's worth it to help everyone out. So enjoy.